Juventus beat Lazio 2-0 at home in the Coppa d'Italia. First leg semi-final. A bit of relief for Max Allegri. Gav, who's been under massive pressure. And why are the fans so divided in the, season, in the stadium? So, yeah, a bit of relief. I mean, the first half, I don't think, from Juve was great. No. Um, but they came back. They're big guns. Got the business done in the second half. Fine. You're set up nicely for the final. Um, if you're mean, you might point out, oh, look, Andrea Pirlo... You know, actually had more points than Max and also won the Coppa Italia and he got sacked, but then you didn't have this big massive contract. Yeah. The thing with the fans is is really, really interesting because so at halftime it's nil nil. Most of the fans in the stadium who are just kind of civilians um, start booing Juve. Yeah. Juve's ultras start booing and chanting against their fellow fans who are booing the club because the ultras code at Juve has said that they kind of decide like, no, 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 we're not going to boo Allegri or the team until the final whistle, if okay. we need to. Yeah, yeah. And they usually need to. Um, <laughs> so there was this surreal situation where, you know, there, there were about 1,000 Lazio fans in there, and you had about, what, 4,000 ultras, who make a racket, obviously, against 30,000, 35,000, yeah. however, uh, however many there were in the Juventus Stadium. Um, it's never great to have a divided thing. I can understand both points of view here. I do kind of think the ultras have to realize they don't speak for the whole family. Yes. Yeah. Inter's 2-0 win at home against Empoli sees them go 14 points clear with eight games to go. Gab, they could write this up, as in the title, in the derby on April 22nd. That's right. It's kind Imagine. of a race between them and Leverkusen. You know, who's going to win the yeah. title first? Uh, Di Marco early, that man again. Ah, and uh, Alexis Sanchez late. Um, yeah, they could. And it would, be, it would be sweet for them. It would be deserved. Um, but... I, I think Leverkusen are going to do it before him, yeah, I but so. I, I don't know. A stunning goal from Rolando Madragora gives Fiorentina a 1-0 win over Atalanta in the Coppa Italia semi-final first leg. We said Juventus won the other one, the other first leg. Gab is still all in the balance. It's still in the balance because of a young man who is the Atalanta goalkeeper yeah, former Italian 21. Really well. Carnesecchi made some absolutely tremendous saves. This is really entertaining. Fiorentina are just so much fun to watch. They get it right, they get it wrong. Doesn't matter. Mincento Italiano plays... I think this has got to be one of the most attacking sides uh, that you'll Definitely, see in yeah. Europe. Uh, Mandragora, lovely goal. Yeah, Check it out on goal. YouTube. He is a typical kind of number 10 type attacking midfielder who, who does stuff like this occasionally, yes. and it's fun to watch. Yeah.